Freddy Rasmussen has to get through on Jarno Watmir. Can he make it a competitive title battle rather than a theoretical one? Going into the final race and into Lagos, where last year Jarno Otmir beat him to the crown. Surely, even though he is ice cold, even though he focuses the three second penalty for Blakely, which just finishes off his day, it finishes it off, and there goes the title chance for Lucas Blakely, who has been a brilliant contender, but it's not to be his year. Will it be Otmir? Will it be Rasmussen? Because those are the two that we're going to be left with, but it seems at this moment when it really counts this is the closest that we've seen Rasmussen all the way can he stay close now can he go for it is it wide is it wide, he's through. wide. He let him he's through. Wide. so he went tactical he went tactical at the end Freddy Rasmussen has the race lead was it tactical was it the right way to go he's trying to break the toe the Red Bull leads and he's on to the last lap did Yano Otmir go tactical and did he get it right or did he get it wrong because Rasmussen's got P1 but is it the right way to go Otmir diving to the inside Otmir plays it to perfection and regains the lead. Tactical masterclass at this stage. Otmir ahead of Rasmussen. Well, he stood on the brakes. He let his rival go. He got to the DRS point, but it's not over yet. Otmir versus Rasmussen for the championship. And Otmir has got it right. That's so close to contact. And Jarno Otmir, if he can keep it on the road, is going to have the championship lead of 18 points, having got his tactics absolutely right when it mattered most. And Rasmussen was caught by surprise there. He let him through. He retook him. He's on his way to put one hand on the championship trophy. He's going to take an 18-point advantage into the final race of the year.